and welcome back to the Tower Tech. We did a video two days ago, less than two days ago, a whole heap of speculation about what we thought the Valve Index was and wasn't going to include. They've released the details. Valve have published all of the specifications, or at least the vast majority of them, to their website now. And um, there's some good stuff, I'd say, overall. Um, I'm a slightly underwhelmed, I think, uh, by the level of innovation that I was hoping for. And um, the price, the price is, is high. So we can just take a really quick look at their website, just run through uh, <clears throat> some of the specifications, just give you some of, some of my thoughts on that. So if we take a look, we've got an upgrade your experience uh, page here, um, bunch of kind of information about the headset, the controllers and knuckles controllers, nothing I think particularly new to offer here. Um, base stations 2.0, we knew um, we knew they were coming with that. We, there was plenty of leaks that were suggesting that was the case. So I think, think probably the new information is a to do with the headset itself, um, which despite my speculation is the same resolution as the uh, as the Vive Pro, so 1440 by 1600 per eye. It is an LCD panel, not an OLED panel. It does have a uh, full RGB stripe, so there are additional subpixels, which um, is intended to create better fidelity. Um, you will have a perceived improvement in uh, resolution because you've got those additional subpixels in the full RGB stripe. Obviously, you haven't got an OLED display, so you, you're not going to get the ability to kind of shut those pixels off completely. Um, and no doubt, you know, with the with the optimization that they've got with the lens configuration that they've put in, and they've got those those double Fresnel lenses in there. Um, it's claiming a 20%-ish um, greater field of view than uh, than the Vive Pro. Um, and probably, um, you know, in, in the round, I'm a little bit disappointed, truth be told, um, that that's where we've come out. What has caught me a little bit by, by surprise is the refresh rate of the device. So um, 120 hertz, uh, much higher certainly much higher than all of the first gen uh, headsets which will typically running at 90 hertz and actually we've seen a step back with the Oculus Rift S which has dropped back to 80 hertz and you know standalone headsets like the Quest running at 70 hertz so Valve very much pulling in an opposite direction there they're you know very deliberately trying to uh, have extremely high frame rates um extremely frame, uh, high frame rates and they've got an experimental 144 hertz uh, feature um, extremely low persistence which is um, you know that's dependent on frame rate it's effectively type like a lag type thing so as you're moving your your head around you're not going to get so much of that blurring so ultimately what's this display going to give us it's going to give us uh, much improved screen door effect it's going to give you know we essentially going to become far less nauseous uh, as we experience the the VR headset and um, yeah a bunch of other stuff you know len lenses um, that are closer to your eyes improved field of view as we've talked about um, the headphones the headphones are more like um, kind of small speakers they don't actually go on your ears they just kind of hang near your ears which is which is designed to give an an improved sense of ambiance and fullness and directionalness uh, to the sound so it'll be interesting be interesting to see what they perform like a head strap that you know broadly's got some kind of material that we've seen on the the knuckles controllers um we've got got this front slot um there's not a lot of information on that truth be told so um it, it just really describes it as really an ability for modders to mod the device and kind of create their own code and uh, their own ideas around that so they, they haven't elaborated on it much more than that we've got the cameras which so far as i can see are just essentially pass through cameras i think that's what we we're expecting some speculation certainly in the comments of my last video that there may be um some some uh, uh windows mixed reality type integration that that doesn't appear to be there and um yeah, I mean, a price tag of 
dollars, so certainly not a cheap device, uh, even more expensive than the, the higher resolution HP, fee, um, HP Reverb, um, as 919 UK pounds for those that are th this side of the pond. Um, I'm, I'm going to summarize it as a little bit underwhelming, very expensive, with crazy refresh. Am I going to pre-order this device? Not as clear cut as it could have been, one to think about overnight. Uh, and absolutely no announcement of the software that we can expect with this thing. So, no announcement thus far for a VR version of, of Half Life. Um, early days. Uh, but yeah, underwhelming. Very high refresh. Very expensive. So, very quick video for you there, guys. Hope that's useful. Uh, leave your thoughts. Uh, Leave your thoughts on this uh, this device down in the comments below. Potentially feels a bit like a, a Gen 1.5 increment. Better, no doubt, than the Rift S. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was hoping for a little bit more. So there we go, guys. Hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Ta-ta.